Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages playthrough. Uh, last time we made it to Crescent Island, but unfortunately our stuff got stolen by a bunch of these uh, island dwellers known as Toke. And uh, we need to get all of our items back. We have our shovel and we have our uh, sword. But I have a feeling that's not really going to help us progress, so we're going to need to find all of our items. Our flippers, our seed satchel, our feather, our power bracelet. All those very important items we'll need to actually get some kind of progress in. So, let's go ahead and get this going. With the sword, we can now actually get through here. Hey, what's up? Buy something. A shield for 50? I'm not going to spend that on that yet. I might do that if I feel like it, because... The shield's interesting, because the shield, it's one of those items that you don't really need. It's just kind of there if uh, you want to use it to reflect some projectiles. But it's, you know, not a necessary item. Okay, so can't go there. The island's kind of streamlining us to these different locations here. Uh, so here, looks like we need uh, pots, or the ability to lift pots to get through, so I'm going to be able to come back later. Our guardian is at the center of the island. When the sun climbs high into the sky, the sea comes in and you can't get to him. I see. There is a spot just like this on the west side of the island. So yeah, that's how we're going to get back to the present day, but unfortunately we don't have the Harp of Ages anymore, so we're going to have to find that. Uh, there's our bombs, so we'll have to get those at some point, and to get inside that room over there. Put vine sprouts by strange walls for good luck. For good luck and for the ability to climb. There was a century here long ago. If you planted a seedling now, it would take hundreds of years to grow. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, here we go. We have uh, our items. We have two items to get here. If you want something, we can trade. Okay, so we're going to be trading to get these items. Not super convenient, but hey, it is what it is. Let's uh, get the uh, power bracelet first. That's the hoop I found. I'll trade it for 10 cent seeds. I don't have cent seeds, though. So I guess we're going to have to give him the shovel. So now our shovel is just there, so we'll have to get that at some point. But anyway, um, with the power bracelet, we can do a few things. Mainly we can move some of these obstacles out of the way. First thing I'm going to do is go over here to go downstairs, and well, I need bombs to get in that treasure chest, but I think if we go up here... We can find our bombs! So we have the bombs back at the very least. So we have something else we can attack with. And we can also get inside some of these uh, cracked um, obstacles. Just a gash of seed though. But still, I mean, it's a gash of seed. Can't complain too much. Uh, so I don't think there's really, like, that much else we can do. Like, we can kind of go around and find some other places to kind of investigate, but I think we're going to be still kind of limited in what we can and can't do. Because there's some areas where we definitely need both the, uh... Yeah, we need flippers for here, not to mention also rocks feather. Flippers are over there, so we kind of need a combination as it is. Maybe we do need the Rock's Feather to get to this point. But hey, we got the bomb, so we at least blew this open. Uh, down here we have a cave. Uh, we can enter this, but I think this is another case of we need uh, another item to progress further. Yeah, we need flippers to even go through here, so... Once again, we're flipper blocked. Amongst other blockades as well. gonna get some enemy kills just to kind of I mean we're not really looking for maple anymore because we have the maple item already but still uh, but yeah like we're already kind of done with uh, what we can look at I mean there is this bomb wall over here which we will take a look at but 
already we've kind of uh, run into a wall with the power bracelet. Welcome to the Wild Toke, this game room for all fit Toke. Today's prize is this. Ooh. If you want this scent seedling, take the Wild Toke Challenge. It costs 10 rupees. Okay. Want to hear the rules? Yeah, may as well. Pass meat to each Toke that runs by on the left and right. If you give meat to each one, you win. If you skip even one, you fail. Understand? Yes. Then let's get started. Okay, so this is a little mini-game of sorts. It's not terribly hard. Just again, remember how the throwing mechanics work in this game. Where if you're standing still, um, you don't really throw it. Take more! <laughs> Congratulations, take the prize. You got a scent seedling. Maybe it'll produce many seeds. I think you can play it again for, like, other prizes. So, you know, if you want to uh, try again, go for it. But um, I don't think you really get anything, like, major from this. You don't get, like, any pieces of hearts or unique rings or anything. I guess you always could, but... I'm pretty sure you don't. I also love how the tall, tall heights or the Link's Awakening music is playing here. If I find out there are other things there, I'll come back later, but I think that we just need the uh, scent seedling, so we're good there. So let's go back to here so we can trade. Well, first of all, let's get our shovel back. Yep. And let's actually get the feather now. And now we're going to do some more things. I think our next goal is we need to get the flippers because the flippers will allow us access to some of the other areas we have going on for us. What's in here again? Okay. I didn't really look at this though. I don't think there is anything. I think that's something I have to come back for later regardless, so it's not too bad. But yeah, let's jump on over this pits. Not this room, it's the other one. Also, I see the uh, Harp of Ages over there. This is the one I'm looking for. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> hey, season, sweetie. Here, it looks like we're gonna get the flippers. Hey, you're the one who I, um, I'm glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide. <laughs> These guys are rude. <laughs> Taking just all of my stuff. I don't approve of that. So as you can see, we need to get the, uh, <laughs> we need to get that again. The, uh, power bracelet again, rather. I don't think the flippers gives us anything else we can do. Yeah, because I need the flippers to go inside this cave to get to the other side. So that'll pretty much solve that issue. But yeah, you pretty much have to get the power bracelet first so you can get the bombs. Then you switch to the feathers so you can get the flippers. And then you switch back to get like the Harp of Ages. It's, it's basically a process. 
process that may or may not be fun. <laughs> it definitely can be annoying at times. And I can't even get over here either, so... Yep, looks like we're switching back to Power Bracelet. I want to say this is like the last, like, switch we have to make, though. Because everything else will, uh... Lead us to getting both items at the same time. So we're, we're kind of getting all the, our stuff back. Taking a bit longer than I would like, because obviously we have uh, dungeons to do. Okay, so let's head back this way. I love how these creatures are just like lizards. Because <laughs> they have like reptilian tails and stuff. They're kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. Okay, so first of all, let's go to that area with the, uh... The scent seedling. This is our precious tree nursery. They say a scent tree was planted here long ago. If I had a seedling, I'd plant it here. Go ahead. Huh? What's wrong? It's not like it's going to get big right away. It takes a long, long time for a seed to become a tree. Don't worry. I'll take care of it, so come back after a long, long time. So yeah, obviously we can't get that until we uh, go back to the future, which means we need the... Uh, Harp of Ages for that, so... Once again, we're stuck, but not stuck for too long, thankfully. So now that we have the Power Bracelet, let's go ahead and go back down. Can't use my sword because it's on the A button, but that's fine. And this is how we get our seed bag back. So that's another item we needed. Now, I can't jump. Do I really have to switch back? I don't think I do. Because I definitely got, to... yeah, okay, I go this way. I was like, I got back to there at some point. There he is. I was like, where the hell is that Tektite? Okay, so gonna go down here now, because again we have the flippers so we can do this. Actually, can I do this? No, I need, the, I need the feather. I can't even do this yet. So wait, what did I get? I got the seed bag. There's something I'm missing here. Oh, actually, no, I have seeds now, so I can get the feather back. Because I think for one of the items, you have to pay scent seeds. That's right. And the other one, I think you pay mystery seeds, or another type of seed. Or something like that. You know, I should have known that I needed the feather for that, honestly. Because I definitely remember there was a room where you needed, like, all three items, and that was the room, so... <laughs> Not bad. Ten mystery seeds, yes. Okay, so now we have the feather back. So all we need is our shovel, but we can't get the shovel back until we get the, um, scent seeds. 
which we need the Harp of Ages for, which is like literally the last item we need, so... At least we can freaking move through all these rooms now. At least I'm getting a lot of kills from these enemies. But yeah, this is why I feel like a lot of people don't really like this section of the game that much. Just a lot of back and forthing. I think in general, while I think that Ages does have, uh, you know, a bit of an easier, like, overworld to navigate because you don't have to worry about the seas and stuff as much, I feel like, to compensate, they did make some of the overworld stuff kind of annoying to an extent. So I can definitely see what people mean when they don't really feel too fondly about uh, ages compared to seasons. There is a uh, seed thing here, but I can't find it. I think it's, I think it's on that plateau up there. Anyway, also hold on. Freaking antivirus thing popped up. Hey, you're the one who I um yeah you say the same thing as everyone else. That's all I picked up. Maybe other it's okay. I took stuff too, but maybe not. Maybe you should look around. Uh, but yeah, we do have our uh, Harp of Ages now, so that's good. I can't go this way because I don't have the shovel. Never mind. But I don't have to go through that cave again either, so that's another bonus. Okay, so now we need to get to the uh, future because we need to get our um, scent tree um, grown. Seems like the next logical step, anyway. <clears throat> There's a winding maze beneath this island, maybe. You don't know? That's not logic you have? <laughs> That's weird. It's said that long ago a Tukay with no tail opened our guardian's mouth. Was he hungry? <laughs> I have to cook dinner for all the toke, but my dose is all stubbed up. If I cook, it will taste awful. The stink bag? Yeah, get that out of my inventory, please. Huh, what's that? Rips. <laughs> Ew. P.U. That smell. Oh. Ew. What was that? My nose stings. That was stinky. Stinky? That smell. It cleared up my nose. Thanks. That stink bag did it. I need it. It's unbearable. I'll trade you something really good for it. And we get the tasty meat. It's the chef's specialty. Yay. We got meat. Yum. <laughs> Glory be to meat. <laughs> See, with uh, these vines, we can now climb up to some of these other areas, which is nice. Um, obviously I don't need to go this way necessarily, but I did want to just kind of check a few things first. Here's another Gasha tree spot. Not going to worry about that though. Did want to show it off though while we're in the area. So yeah, this just in general makes uh, navigation a bit easier here. Actually, you might even have to do that. Hey, you! Listen to me. It takes a long time for trees to grow. The same goes for that vine you just climbed down. Yep, I know. I grew the vine a long time ago. Oh, crap. You gotta be kidding me. Let me guess, that's actually preventing me from getting to the sentry, too. 
think that's exactly what it's doing. So now I have to go back to the past. <laughs> just to push that vine over. Oh, that's so annoying. And it was just one vine. One vine I forgot about. That's all it takes sometimes. This is the Wild Toke Museum. We Toke used to play here long ago, but not anymore. The Toke on your right, left right, left and right are real. I mean real looking Toke. They won't respond if you talk to them. <clears throat> okay. Well, he wasn't wrong. One, two, three, is that a lot? I need to learn my numbers. Learning numbers is a good thing. Also, yeah, um, those are actually some good Gasha Tree spots. What makes them really good is I believe they're also one of the uh, level, like the high rare ones. So that's a prime place where you could maybe find the uh, heart piece. Ah, but yeah, let's uh, go back and uh, push some of those seeds against the wall. I really thought I moved them all, but I guess not. It's really, really annoying. Okay, so that one's in the right place. And yeah, you gotta be careful whenever you jump down, because if you jump down from a ledge, you break them. In fact, I'm willing to bet that's maybe what I did. I probably did that at some point, and that's why it happened. Yeah, see, this is the one I needed to put back. I wanna say that's it, though. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Damn fairies wood music. Just consuming our lives as it normally does. wrong way again. <laughs> oh my god. This island. Hey, at least we can say that after this video, we'll be done with it. We'll be in the dungeon. We never have to do this stupid vine stuff ever again. That sounds good to me. Hey, Sentry! You got sent seeds or smell tracks monsters. Open your seed satchel to use them. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to open our inventory to use them. We're going to go back to the past again. I already had the right item. And we're going to get our damn shovel back. You've got all your items! Yay! Hey look, a shield. Aw, oh, damn it! <laughs> How many do I have? Eight? Oh. So I'm too short! <laughs> I'm getting my shovel back. <laughs> That's mean. That's very, very mean game. Either way, we are done. We don't have to do this dumb quest anymore. We can make it back to... Uh the other place and continue on. As the uh, Toke pointed out, there's basically two warp points on the island. And I need to get over there somehow. I, mean, I know how to get over there, it's just I don't want to go through here again. <laughs> but can you blame me honestly? It's just tedious.
But yeah, if you don't want to spend your rupees on a shield, you can just buy your shield with scent seeds, which I think later I'll probably have uh, scent seeds to do that with. And if not, I'll just buy another one at the damn freaking shop again. Boop, 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 boop. Yay, and with the shovel we can dig this up and we can warp here. So now we're on the other side of the island. We got crabs. At least they're not as dangerous as the one in Links of the Past. Which do like 5 million hearts of damage to you. They don't actually do that much, but they do a lot. Okay, nice fairy fountain here. Another warp point. And over here we have Dungeon 3, Moonlit Grotto. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time when we take on this dungeon. Later, folks.